Alright guys, we're doing the 2010 to 2012 Tundra today. Full grill with the uh, spike strip on top. Um, tools you'll need to do the job. Some sort of sawzall cutting device for cutting the plastic. 3 16 drill bit. I prefer a right angle drill. Um, I use a little impact driver, 10 millimeter. You'll need to pull the grill off today. A drill. Phillips screwdriver, your hardware pack that comes with the grill, and I like to use little needle nose locking pliers, um, nine millimeter wrench, and a couple screwdriver items, and that's about it. So first, you need to just pull the grill off. You have to take off this rod here. You pull the clip, rod comes right out. Then you have 10 10 millimeter bolts to remove the grill. You have to pop the top off. It's got button clips, so it sounds like you're breaking stuff, but if you push evenly from behind, it pops right up. All right, now we have the grill out. We need to remove the release mechanism. It's just two Phillips. Save this. We'll be remounting it to my new bracket. Okay, now flip the grill back over. I've pre-marked the lines where you need to cut the grill. Cross all the little ribs. And then on the side, very important, you need to save this little area right here. So cut across this way exactly where I put the white line and down. And then across the ribs. And same thing back on the other side, up and straight over. And make sure that you save this area here because we use it as a mounting area. Okay, now you can see that the uh, inner part of the grill is cut out, and most importantly, we left this little wing point here. We use that as a mount, and the same on the other side, here. Now that it's cut out, we can uh, use a small grinder, clean up some of the edges, and uh, make it nice and smooth. And uh, where the little, little hangs are here, we can clean those right off. Now if you opted to get the optional spike strip up here, we're going to remove the factory plastic out of that now. It's just a series of clips. Alright, now it's time to install the grill. So just take the grill, carefully set it inside the shell, careful not to scratch any of the chrome. And then hold them together, flip the, and carefully flip it over, and you'll see the mounting bracket. What I like to do is I take the grill, push it up tight and take one of my locking nose pliers and clamp it on. That'll lock the drill in place for you so you can make your marks on where to drill. Okay, now that we have uh, enough clamps to hold the grill still, um, we're going to take a white marker. You can use a black sharpie, whatever. Just mark inside where each bracket goes. And we'll use that as a reference for drilling. Now you can see the uh, white marks that we made all the way around the grill. And we just have to take the 3 16 drill bit, drill through. 
And then I usually like to give it a little bit of clearance, so I'll go one side to side on, on each one. And you'll be good to go. Alright, now we're ready to install the grill. And set the shell back over the top of it. Take your hardware pack and all your bolt holes should just line exactly right up. Go ahead and put the bolts in with the nuts and get them all started and do not lock it down completely yet. Alright, now that we've got all the hardware in loosely, what you need to do is just push the grill up nice and tight, put a clamp on it and then you can snug it up. That's it, and then move on to the next one. And do that all the way around, and the uh, grill will be installed. Alright, now that the grill's in, it's all buttoned up nice and tight, it's time to put the spike strip in. That's just as simple as lining it up, dropping it in. Press it in, It'll, it should kind of hold there. Hold it in place, flip it over, and install four nuts and snug those up do not put more than six pounds of pressure on them and you'll be good to go so when I install these if you have a drill that has a clutch set it on six or seven right in there that will ensure that you don't over torque the um, stud with with these plastic ones you don't even need to do that just snug them up but Definitely do not overdo it because you'll either snap the stud or break the plastic grill. Alright, the last step uh, with the grill installation process is putting in the bracket to hold the uh, hood release. So you'll take the bracket, take your hood release that you removed off the center section we cut out. It will mount right to the grill with the two holes here. And just use the hardware to uh, snug it up. Alright, now we remove the... Uh, two screws from this uh, lower bracket that's where my brackets going to mount and replace the um, stock screws with the two big screws that came in the uh, kit that I gave you just snug them up don't over tighten them this is plastic that you're going into they will strip. Alright, now the grill's finished, ready to go back on the truck. To put the grill on, line up the uh, pop pins with the uh, receivers on the hood itself. Just pop those in. Connect the hood release bar, snap the clip back on, and then install your 10, 10 millimeter bolts back into the truck and we're done.